Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. to redeem our loss. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are reigning forever. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are returning in glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, look kindly to the prayer, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you gracious, generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there, was, there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manning, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Samalus, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. May, so may your way be known upon earth, among all nations your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless you, and may all of the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. 
And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The church was at prayer. And then the Holy Spirit talked to them and said, Set apart Barnabas and Saul, that they may do the work for which I have called. And then they laid hands on them. The imposition of hands is that ancient sign of sending the Holy Spirit down upon those who have been chosen to go on a mission. Now, when we were confirmed, the bishop imposed hands upon us. Now, we may not have done it individually, like they did in the scriptures because of so many who are gathered. But he has that imposition of hands. And as he calls upon the Holy Spirit, upon those who are to be confirmed, then they get a mission. They are set apart. The scripture often read at confirmation is, as the Father has sent me, so I now send you. And then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. So in our confirmation, not only do we receive the Holy Spirit, but we get the mission. What we have been selected to do. To go out into the world. It is a beautiful part of the confirmation liturgy. It happens right before the anointing. Also in the rite of ordination, whether being ordained a deacon, a priest, or a bishop, there is that imposition of hands by the bishop. That the bishop, whose hands were imposed by another bishop, and we trace the imposition of hands all the way up through St. Peter in this what we call apostolic succession. And so as a bishop lays hands, it is as if the first apostles are laying hands. And the Holy Spirit then comes down and gives the deacon, the priest, the bishop, the mission that they are called to do, to go out into the Word. A deacon in particular to be of service to the Word and to be of service to the people. A priest to proclaim the good news, to celebrate the sacraments, to reconcile the sinner. And the bishop who is for teaching and for passing on the authentic faith. It is through the imposition of hands that once again the Holy Spirit is sent down upon the world. As we approach Pentecost on May 23rd, let us pray for a new Pentecost, a renewal of the Holy Spirit, that our prayer may truly be come. Holy Spirit, come. Let us place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world, that she may preach the gospel with courage, strength, and conviction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders, that they will work together for the common good and come to the aid of those who suffer we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation that we have peace in our streets and that we have the greatest respect for all human life. From the moment of conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are suffer, suffering from illness, 
from disease, from pandemics, for those who are oppressed and fearful, that they may be healed by the touch of Jesus. Let us pray also for the people of India, that as they suffer through this new surge of virus, that the world may come to their aid and ease their suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your needs and your intentions that we bring to the altar today in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will. For they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers in the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, <coughs> all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you wish. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. I've chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, 
and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hymns of praise, then let us sing, Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia. 